All right guys, today we're gonna to be talking about my new favorite blade shape. And to be honest, I'm a lover of blades, all things edged, and so for me, maybe this is a little bit of an exaggeration that it's necessarily new, because I don't know if it's exactly new, but I will say that there is this push that we're seeing in a lot of modern knives, um, whether it be fixed blades or just traditional EDC folders, and this particular blade shape. So what this blade shape is in particular is the reverse Tonto. And this one in particular is as shown on a Malibu, but there are plenty of different variants of knives, different flavors of blades that we will be looking at in this particular video, going over um, different other knives that are reverse Tontos. Now, reverse Tontos are also a little bit of a contentious term because I feel like there are a lot of knives marketed as worn cliffs that could easily go into the reverse Tonto styled blade naming or nameology, I guess you could say. Or in my opinion, it's kind of similar to in surgery for me, there are many instruments that have many different types of names. So, you know, one person might call it a particular name, another might call it a completely different name. And so I think a lot of that goes back to or is very similar in the EDC world where we look at, you know, one person might call this, you know, Hogue Deca, which from factory, they, the factory calls this a, you know, Warncliffe. They actually call this specific blade shape a Warncliffe. But if you look at a proper Warncliffe, at least in my opinion, something like this ABW Model 1 that's a Warncliffe, to me, this is more of what a proper Warncliffe looks like. Whereas, um, you know, a sheep's footed blade would be a little bit more rounded. So to take a quick peek and go into just a little bit of the weeds, this to me is what more of a sheep's footed blade would be. Whereas a worn cliff has definitely more of a terminal end at the like basically you have a flat straight blade and it ends right there. So there's a lot of similarities in my opinion to a worn cliff and a um, reverse Tonto, but Hopefully this video can kind of, you know, break down some differences. So once again, we talked about differences between a worn cliff and a reverse Tonto. I think they are very similar. We'll take a quick look to at a traditional Tonto or what I think people would consider an American Tonto versus a reverse Tonto. So here we have a proper American Tonto. And I say American because Tonto originates from the Japanese short swords or almost like longer than a knife, but not quite a knife and definitely not a sword. So that's what a actual Tonto is, is a technical like kind of short sword basically. So these are what we'd consider American Tontos, which just refers to the tip of the blade. So an American Tonto, like you see here with the um, CQC or sorry, Emerson Bulldog is definitely this very angular, very stout, very a sharp point that is designed for stabbing and defensive use. And so when you look at a reverse Tonto, you're basically wanting to see the same type of blade shape, but reversed. And so that's kind of what we see largely with this. Now, like I said, the interpretations here, the minutia, the weeds, whatever you'd like to call it, are definitely there, but you can see the differences between a Tonto and a reverse Tonto. Essentially, you have a very sharp drop on a reverse Tonto into a sweeping edge, whereas, um, or I should say a very sharp downward drop, as opposed to a very sharp upward drop, um, or kind of angle up into a sharpened edge. So anyways, once again, weeds, um, there's definitely a lot of, you know, delineation and kind of just marketing almost, if you will, everyone calls them different names. So is it exactly a reverse Tonto? Absolutely not. None of these are truly the reverse of a Tonto. I'd say the only actual true reverse Tonto that I, at least I own personally, would probably be this TCAL Nightshade reverse Tonto that is actually sharpened here. And so this is legitimately a reverse Tonto. So if you took a, you know, you, you just like 
cropped out the handle of this tea kettle and you just looked at the blade, this would be a Tonto style blade, but then you just flip it over and this is its proper you know, handle orientation. And so you still have that sharpened edge. And this, in my opinion, is probably one of the only like real actual honest to God, reverse Tonto knives out there. So anyways, hopefully that hasn't been too confusing. We've already gotten quite a bit into the weeds and we haven't even talked about the knives. So anyways, I actually won't spend too much time talking about these blades in particular, but really I just wanna explain why I like the reverse Tonto. So for me, the reason why I like the reverse Tonto is similar to why I like sheep's footed blades. Now for me, what it is, is it allows you to have a downward, um, facing point. And so what I mean by this is Tontos um, and other sty st styles of blades like drop points, spear points, all those kinds, you usually have either a tip on your blade that is in the center line of your overall blade stock or towards the top. Something like a buoy would also be another good example of that. And when you're using your knives for utility or you're trying to do like straight line cuts like such, trying to have a tip that is upward facing makes it that you have to hold your blade at a very high or abrupt angle. If you have your tip at the lower end of your blade stock, you can set it down, get that tip involved in what you're cutting, but without really having to, you know, like hold your blade at a super high angle. So that is for utility, specifically the huge advantage to reverse Tontos. And I think that another thing that complements this especially is that with a lot of reverse tontos and not all of them but with most of them you can pretty easily choke right up to that tip and get a lot of very fine tip control so if you're trying to do you know like you're trying to cut in a sharp pattern or you're trying to cut around something very specifically maybe open a blister pack or something like that reverse tontos can actually be very useful in those applications now i've been showing off the malibu a lot and the Protec Malibu is a popular knife that does come in reverse Tonto. There are, it is worth noting, um, Malibus that are also in, um, <clears throat> there are also Malibus that are in spear point. So if you like spear point more, there are still Malibus out there in that uh, blade shape. However, I will say they are few and far between. Most Malibus are going to be reverse Tontos. Now, the next one up, and I would say the kind of like, you know, grandfather of reverse Tontos, the first one for sure that actually was like mass circulated is, of course, the Benchmade 940 Osborne. This guy, of course, is now over 20 years old and, like I said, was one of the first knives to actually feature a reverse Tonto, but still, once again, very viable and all the same rules apply. You know, you can still easily choke up on that tip of the blade, you know, get a lots of control. And I think that the reverse Tonto, honestly, on the 940 Osborne is what for the most part has realistically made it a knife that people keep coming back to. You know, people lose them, they buy them again. People use the heck out of them. People who are new to EDC buy them. A lot of people flock to the 940. And I think that the blade shape is a huge reason. Another one that I would definitely worth that is definitely worth considering is the spider coast smock of course the smock is in my opinion spider coast kind of answer to the 940 albeit a lot later down the line they didn't really you know make this shortly after the 940's introduction but this shares a lot of very similar properties the reverse tonto um, you know that very thin overall body and style and once again supreme control of being able to get up on that tip, control it, you know, do fine cutting motions with it. So the Spider Coast Mock is a very venerable option. Of course, I also alluded to the Hogue Deca earlier. Um, the Hogue Deca, once again, this is technically by the company considered a Warncliffe, but in my opinion, I consider this more of a reverse Tonto because of how abrupt and how sharp that tip comes to its uh, end. So for me, I consider this more of a realistic reverse Tonto, but still a very good option. Now, the next one I think is probably one that no one really talks about or thinks about being a reverse Tonto. In this knife, admittedly, I don't think was ever super, super popular, but the Civivi Spiny Dogfish, which is a 
which is a collaboration between um, Gavco Knives and Civivi, of course, is another knife that does, I believe, I, I don't know if they market it as this way, but it looks to me like a reverse Tonto. So once again, very similar to all the others, especially because on the Civivi Spiny Dogfish and on the Spyderco Smock, you do have an actual forward finger choil. So it's even easier on these knives to really get that you know proper control over the tip of the blade because you have that you know forward finger choil but either way once again you still have a very sharp um, conclusion downward conclusion to your tip making it very easy to control your tip and do lots of fine cutting with it so i think the Civivi spiny dogfish is one that is very easily overlooked and i think it's something that you know a lot of people um, don't focus on but it is still a reverse tonto and it still works in a lot of the same ways that a reverse tonto does so anyways those are five knives that do have the reverse tonto but it is worth pointing out that as far as the blade shape goes itself i think it is i think it is a really solid um a really solid utility and like function edc function focused um, blade shape and i really like it and once again i think the census is also out there that it is a well-liked design because of things like the 940 and once again i will say i do think people like the 940 and have liked the 940 for other reasons than just its blade shape alone once again it's very thin very pocket friendly um, and so there is that but the blade shape does also lend its hand to being a very usable knife so anyways guys hopefully you enjoyed the video as always god bless and i'm out